I'm Nanette Mosier, and I've drawn all my life, you know, as, as a kid and on through. I went to college as an art major, and that was in the 1950s when everything was express yourself. The more abstractly, the better. So I ended up as an art history major because the kind of work I've always preferred, I, I tend toward the, the linear and the detailed. So I did get my art history degree and then didn't use it for years and then went back and got my master's in art history and taught art history and work, as you know, here at the museum all the while still drawing and for many years weaving, um, partly because I inherited my grandmother's loom and I remember growing up with her weaving, although I wasn't allowed to touch the loom then, uh, but also it was something I could do at home. I was pretty discouraged with my drawing and I could do that and so for 20 years, that was pretty much what I did. I think I can remember when I started drawing the kinds of things I draw now. Uh, I, I never stopped drawing. I mostly drew uh, our animals or the people, oh, my sheep, I drew a lot. Um, the kids, everything, just, you know, just like people do. Um, no particular thought behind it. Um, well, I remember lying in bed and sort of mentally drawing, which is something else I do, and started drawing and it was yarn. I'm a spinner as well as a weaver. And yarn, of course, is very linear and it also has patterns within it. And so I started drawing just yarn and then tangles of yarn and then woven yarn and um, pretty soon I was drawing mostly weavings. That's what I, but weavings through which, okay, art history, drawing, weaving, sort of all come together in my mind. I don't, I think a lot of times people don't see it, but it all comes together. Weaving is the oldest of practically any of the, um, handcrafts. I mean, they have twisted cord or evidence of it, impressions, from 20, 30,000 years ago. It goes way back, way before pottery or basketry or anything like that. Well, maybe not basketry. Um, and it's very closely intertwined in society up until recently. And I suspect in a different way, it's related to today's society. I guess as the older I got, the more I identified with the textiles that I was drawing. Either I had woven them, that's sort of how it started, hand-woven pieces, just interested in the patterns and trying to make people see the patterns that are in woven fabric. And then we, I started doing, I guess you could say I've done a series of sort of rags, old weavings, old pieces of weaving, which to me have a humanity, uh, which you can see reflected in the titles. And I will send you some. But for this show, and this is one thing I like about theme shows, it makes you do something that is not what you would normally do. And for the theme show, which was a sense of place, huh, what place? Where is my place? Well, this is my place. This is my drawing board. And this is entirely different from, and I mean, obviously I'm, I don't do uh, uh, interior perspective drawings. There's a reason for it. Um, but this is my place because this is my studio now. Uh, when we moved 
and it, when we moved into a condo about six years ago, I went from an upstairs large studio, fairly large, with big windows, to what was a gray cement basement. And I think one reason I wanted to do this is a lot of people don't have a nice studio space. Um, but you don't have to despair, which is what I did at first. This is the only window, one little window in this gray cement basement. But it's amazing what paint can do and lighting, modern lighting, uh, my son rigged up, you can't see him here, but rigged up some big light fixtures that shine down on my looms and specifically on the different work areas. And, uh, and then, of course, there's a lot of what I refer to as op lights, which probably isn't accurate, but, you know, color, color corrected. And so, to me, this, even though it's not exact, um, this captures my well-lit studio within an unlikely space. This is a taken from a, one of my weavings. This is a wool afghan, and that's one of my many rolling office chairs that just roll all over the cement floors just fine. You know, I can go from a loom to a desk to my drawing board to the spinning wheel, anywhere I want. And uh, the medium is also not what I normally use. Well, kind of it is. It's still a graphic medium. It's a drawing. Uh, I use tinted paper. This is Stonehenge Fawn, I think. Tinted paper and uh, graphitint, which is a pencil I don't usually use, but it's a graphite that is literally tinted, not a lot of colors, but it's sort of brownish or greenish or whatever. Uh, and it, it is water soluble, but I didn't use water on this one. Um, but I liked, it has sort of, to me, sort of a, a cozy sepia, old, almost old fashioned kind of look to it, which is completely fake. I mean, these walls are pink. <laughs> they aren't pink. That's an argument I've had, but uh, they're actually salmon. But um, so to me, this captured the feeling, even if not the exact look, of my place.